thank you everyone for joining in uh, we have another uh, interesting episode of uplift we have an inspirational guest at least i get inspired from her and i'm sure a lot of hr professionals a lot of professionals in pakistan and especially in the middle east market uh, were following her um, get inspired uh, the the response on the post on linkedin was amazing we reached around 100000 views and i'm sure the question that you asked I'll, i'll be able to get answers from her she's currently director talent acquisition for l'oreal middle east and north africa markets uh, she has a well rounded exposure in hr and is a leading voice in leadership and professional development she's worked in top multinationals uh, in pakistan throughout her career uh, i've met her previously and even in that one hour session uh, i was very inspired and uh, i know of a lot of people who look up to her uh, to get to to know the values of the behaviors and the drive that needs to be there to to reach the top so uh, with that i would like to welcome sana thank you so much sana for joining us Hello. It's a pleasure to have you how are you i am good sorry umar aaj main apne phone se connected hu <laughs> and i'm holding Nein. the phone so agar uh, at some point in time visual sahi nahi hua to samajh jana ki phone idhar ho gaya ya udhar ho gaya ya uh, that is just one disclaimer i will begin the show with nahi thank you so much i understand that uh, you're out of pakistan but you're still taking out time from your busy schedule it means a lot to us because Uh, you have worked at the highest level, <laughs> and I don't think I have. I have a major thank you, Kena. Say that you want to talk to me. I'm still getting over that piece. That you know that okay, like you know why not? But uh, that, I think the the excitement is both ways because uh, you admire my work, but I deeply admire your uh, your work as well. I think that's the first thing I told you when I met you that I I follow you on LinkedIn, and I always think. Hey, क्या बात कर रहा है उमर और ठीक कह रहा है कि नहीं कह रहा अच्छी एडवाइस दे रहा है कि नहीं दे रहा लाइक यू नो सो आई एम बीन अ बिग फैन ऑफ ऑफ योर वर्क टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट थैंक यू सो मच आई एम हंबल अच्छा सना आप यू हैव बीन डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ पॉडकास्ट्स एंड पीपल हैव बीन फॉलोइंग आई हैव आल्सो फॉलोड द कंटेंट सो आई विल ट्राई नॉट टू आस्क दोस क्वेश्चंस बिकॉज़ मैं एचआर में खुद हूं और मुझे कुछ क्वेश्चंस हैं जो लोग पूछते हैं और मैं थोड़ा सा कभी फंस भी जाता हूं एंड ऑब्वियसली उस पे मुझे ओपिनियन भी चाहिए सो आई विल Directly try to tackle those questions because उन questions से जो आपकी major आवाम है तीन से चार लाख बच्चे हैं पाकिस्तान में वो graduate every year it mm-hmm. affects them it affects how other HR professionals who are at a leadership level or especially are in talent acquisition वो किस तरह decisions लेते हैं to get new talent so I'll start with the first question so in the top corporates in Pakistan top ten or top fifteen it's basically if you're from a top university top tier university top 5 you belong to the top 10 maybe you'll get the best job and because mm. limited jobs and limited achi uh, limited places uh, or recognized as best places to work they go for the top tier universities they get the best candidates and that's it jo baki 80 90% reh gaya wo sochta rehta hai what is our fault and mm. i'm not saying that they're right but they have they they obviously the companies look for the best skills no one wants to hire a, no one no one wants to hire talent who is not a cultural fit who cannot contribute but ye ek cheez hai what is your opinion on this is are they right in claiming ke discrimination hai are they right in claiming ke uh, uh, selective uh, ek uh, acquisition hai jiski basis pe jo पता है पाकिस्तान में जो टॉप टी यूनिवर्सिटी में वो प्रोबेबली कैन अफोर्ड इट दे आर देयर एंड देन बाय दोस पीपल हु हैव बीन इन दैट यूनिवर्सिटी एंड देन एक चेंज चलती रहती है एंड देन तो मुझे इस पे आपका ओपिनियन चाहिए एंड इवन द वे फॉरवर्ड व्हाट यू सजेस्ट टू अदर कॉर्पोरेट्स हाउ टू हैंडल दिस हम्म अच्छा अगर मैं पिछले साल ये आंसर कर रही थी ना तो मैं तुम्हें बड़ा स्टैंडर्ड आंसर दे थी जो जो आपने भी दिया होगा लोगों को कह के कि नहीं हम होलिस्टिक हैं हम एंगेज करते हैं आई थिंक my my mera nazariya thoda sa change hua due to the due to the change of my role also because now i look at talent acquisition across lots of markets and honestly speaking um, um just because i was a big fish in pakistan does not mean i'm a big fish in the in the whole region right so mujhe ekdam se na like ek reality check mila hai so i think what i can share with students in pakistan would be that reality check if you allow me right 
it is true if you study in a top university your access to opportunity is bigger like you know because it's true uh, most companies will make a trip down to that university they will try to sell their jobs to their graduates they will be at their career fairs they will do their part in order to attract the right talent right so that is true ke unko access zyada mila hai iska ye matlab nahi hai ki companies sirf unhi ko hire kar rahi hain so i think what is very important for students who are in non uh, who are not in top i don't even know what you consider top university maine pucha nahi hai like you know main naam mein chahti hu ki aap mujhe ye question puche ki top university kaun hai to lekin i think mera iske upar ye advice advice hogi ki if you don't think you are at one of the top universities in pakistan or or elsewhere as well you should first acknowledge the fact that okay maybe the opportunity might knock might not come and knock at your door uh, but the fact that you can acknowledge that fact should also start preparing you to ha- preparing you on how to get that opportunity access like you know to theek hai wo career fair ke liye aapke university nahi aaye lekin iska ye matlab nahi hai ki aap unke recruiters ko unke talent acquisition team ko unke hiring line managers ko unke hr ke logon ko direct uh, linkedin pe uh, approach nahi kar sakte for a job iska ye matlab nahi hai ki aap unki website ke upar apply nahi kar sakte iska ye matlab nahi hai ki aap unse uh, through some friend network you cannot get in touch with them i think uh, jab aapko need hoti hai na तो आई थिंक यू शुड बी मोर प्रेगमेटिक टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड से कि अच्छा इफ दिस अगर ये ये दरवाजा नहीं खुला तो कौन सा दरवाजा खोल सकते हैं एंड आई थिंक दैट वुड बी माय टॉप एडवाइस बिकॉज अगर हम सिर्फ इसी के ऊपर इसी बात के अंदर सर्कुलेट करते रह गए ना कि कंपनी टॉप यूनिवर्सिटी क्यों आती है बाकी सब जगह नहीं आती कंपनी ऑल्सो हैज लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज दे आर गोइंग टू डू द बेस्ट दैट दे कैन विद रिसोर्स दैट दे हैव विद ऑल ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट राइट okay by some unfortunate circumstances the place where you were or the university where you were your dream company did not come it's fine they're not coming now you know the fact that they're not coming like you know or they might not come uh, what will differentiate a highly motivated highly engaged highly smart talent will be ke agar wo nahi aa rahe what can i do and like i said uske liye aapko network karna padega फॉर एग्जाम्पल वाई इफ समबडी लिंक इन तुम मुझे खुद बता दो कि अगर तुम्हें कभी भी कोई बहुत हंग्री कैंडिडेट मैसेज करता है जेनवन जेनवन के आई आई रियली वॉन्ट टू वर्क विद यू वर्क आई वॉन्ट यू टू सी माई रेज में आई वॉन्ट टू हेल्प यू बट जेनवन करता है सो डोंट यू रिप्लाई यू गेट अ थाउजेंड समबडी सिंगल रिप्लाई सब में नहीं होता एक ने एक ने लिखा होता है हाउ डू आई अप्लाई फॉर जॉब और एक ने लिखा होता है कि हियर इज माय इंट्रोडक्शन दिस इज माय रेज्यूमे दिस इज व्हाई यू विल यू विल लुक इंसानियत क्या यानी कि दैट इज बेसिक एथिक्स बिकॉज़ वी विल मिस आउट ऑन अ गुड टैलेंट एज़ वेल सो यू विल यू विल ट्राई टू यू विल गिव देम अ मिनट और 2 मिनट्स और 5 मिनट्स और मे बी एन आवर ऑफ योर कंसीडरेशन बट यू विल कंसीडर सो माय एडवाइस इज कि इंस्टेड ऑफ थिंकिंग अबाउट के टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज से ही मैं ही जॉब मिलती है आप अपना अपने अंदाजा लगा लें कि आप टॉप हैं कि नहीं है आपकी ड्रीम कंपनी आएगी कि नहीं आएगी और अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं आएगी आई थिंक इट्स टाइम टू गो टू प्लान बी कि हाउ डू आई मेक श्योर दैट आई एम स्टिल सीन बाय देम लाइक यू नो दिस इज वेरी वेरी की नेटवर्किंग इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अप्रोचिंग कंपनीज डायरेक्टली इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेजिटमेजिटमेसी ऑफ 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 योर ऑफ योर हंगर इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक यू नो सो make it known thoda sa mehnat karo uh, to uh, to get the attention inshallah uh, 90% of the time uh, you might come in there rada my favorite story is my own brothers uh, he is not been to a top tier university uh, versus me that jitha mai padhi the wo padha lekin mashallah se he is worked at proctor and all and he did it all through networking and not giving up and continuously mm. applying and and i always think he bahut great hai and at some point in time uh, he uh, took an entry level role after 3 to 4 years of experience because he really wanted to go where he wanted to go so he took that bet like you know and it's worked out uh, for him like you know so i think he um go to plan b plan c if this is your fear but don't let your fears control your future ठीक सना आपने सो यू मेंशनड एंड इट्स फेयर दैट एनी कंपनी कैन यू नो लुक फॉर सर्टेन स्किल्स एंड वेरेवर दे फील दे फाइंड द रेलेवेंट स्किल्स दे विल गो देयर 
it doesn't matter about top tier university and anything. That's what I tell people that no one wants the same kind of people in one place. It's always about diversity. हमारा तो agenda में होता है. And but अगर universities में जा रहे हैं, that happens globally because of limitation of resources. You have to target some universities. You have to send people and you have to pick because you're also competing. But what people say to this, their rebuttal is. Okay, what even if you get to the interview round, you will not select us because your mind is focused on. Okay, I need this university. I need this type of person. And I know my response is that if the if the can if the company feels there is a cultural fit anywhere, and the cultural fit can be anything, you cannot expect a company who wants a certain type of skill set, certain type of uh, behaviors, and uh, you know, uh, grooming. आप कहते हैं कि नहीं जी आप मुझे पिक करें रिगार्डलेस मैं वो फिट करता हूं या नहीं करता बिकॉज मैं सर्टन यूनिवर्सिटी थी सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज इट ट्रू कि पाकिस्तानी कंपनीज या जनरली द कंपनीज दैट यू सीन क्या ये यूनिवर्सिटी का होगा वो उसको पिक करेंगे बाकी आप ही जहां इंटरव्यू में वो उसकी फाइट पे कर देंगे इंटरव्यू लेने के बाद डस दिस डस दैट एक्चुअली हैपन तो फिर सब कहेंगे कि मैं बहुत अपने आइडियलिस्टिक वर्ल्ड में रहती हूं मेरा एक्सपीरियंस बहुत लिमिटेड है इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कंपनीज आई वर्क फॉर आई कैन नॉट स्पीक ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री आई कैन स्पीक ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ हाउ आई रिक्रूट और व्हाट आई एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई वाज अप्लाइंग फॉर जॉब एंड यू राइट आई थिंक वेरी फ्यू पीपल नो के एचआर के डायवर्सिटी केपीआई बहुत स्ट्रांग होते हैं कि ये नहीं हो कि आपने सारे सारे एक जेंडर से लेनी है एक यूनिवर्सिटी से लेनी है एक रीजन से लेनी है यू यू नो वी कैन गेट इनटू अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल बिकॉज आर बॉसेस आस्क अस के व्हाट काइंड ऑफ हायरिंग आर यू डूइंग सो आई थिंक डायवर्सिटी केपीआईज आर आर रियल आई कैन टेल यू गाइस बिलीव इट एच आर लिटरली देयर परफॉर्मेंस इज मेजर्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ हाउ डाइवर्स द टैलेंट पूल इज एक्सेट्रा एंड डाइवर्सिटी विल मीन डिफरेंट थिंग्स टू डिफरेंट कंपनीज सो नो आई डो पर्सनली आई डोंट थिंक सो दिस कुड बी द रीजन uh ha huh, ke agar ek company agar agar if you went to an interview and again you are up against somebody else and they were a better fit for the job they going to get it um again i would just say ke main bahut idealistic baat bhi hai lekin honestly ye sach hi hai ke you know that you should focus on on preparing well how do you prepare for an interview honestly speaking uh <laughs> mai i i am doing interviews for a living these days and i can tell you so many people come unprepared so many people do not know ki job description kya hai so many people do not know kaun si brands and company mein bhai tum itna to homework kar ke aao na ki tumhe pata ho ki company ke brands kya hai business kya hai uh, nature of uh, nature of industry kya hai values kya hai uh, and if you know all of this and if you've done that homework try to make sure that you are that all the examples that you give on why you are a good fit for the company resonate with the company as well so i think preparation is very very important ye yeah, advice main apne aap ko bhi deti hu right like even before talking to you or uh, i'm not apply to any other role but i'm just saying if i did uh <laughs> main homework karke jaungi aur main itni smart hu na ki main unka instagram page dekhungi main unka facebook page dekhungi main unki values dekhungi unka brand dekhungi unke financial statements dekhungi थोड़ा सा समझूंगी राइट ये एक तरह की प्रेपरेशन है और दूसरी प्रेपरेशन आई टेल यू जो हमें नस्क में बहुत अच्छे से उमर लाइक दिस इज वन ऑफ द टॉप टिप्स आई हैव यूज थ्रू आउट माय लाइफ लाइक यू नो सिंस आई लर्न इट एट नस्क बिजनेस स्कूल वी वर वंस इन अ हाउ टू एक्सेल इंटरव्यूज वर्कशॉप एंड वी वर टोल्ड दैट द बेस्ट काइंड ऑफ इंटरव्यू आंसर्स आर द वन दैट लीड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देन सेल्स व्हिच बेसिकली मींस के आप कॉन्वर्सेशन को गाइड करना या इंटरव्यूअर का काम होगा या इंटरव्यूई का काम होगा सो इफ यू आर स्मार्ट एंड इफ यू प्रैक्टिस वेल इनफ एंड आई थिंक मे बी वी नीड टू मेक आर स्टूडेंट्स प्रैक्टिस दिस पी स्मॉल कि हाउ डू यू लैंड आंसर्स इन अ वे दैट द इंटरव्यूअर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज समथिंग दैट यू ऑलरेडी नो द आंसर टू दैट यू डायरेक्ट द कॉन्वर्सेशन towards your strengths your opportunities uh, your challenges what you want to talk about because uh, tum interviews dete ho maybe lete ho tumhe pata hai ki ya hum direct ek question by question chalenge ya interviewer jo tumhare samne jiska tum interview le rahe hoge wo tumse ek baat karega tum uski baat se dusri baat nikalte ho na to se kaise ye bhi pooch leta hu acha ye bhi pooch leta hu so be smart in that curve and honestly speaking agar main tumhe ek honest idea dun na i think ye workshop kara do ke how to guide an interviewer interviewer into asking the right questions i think that was a very mm. very very good workshop i attended in back in back in the day in university i have used it throughout my career not just for interviews but even for my 
नेटवर्किंग सेशन और ग्लोबल पार्टनरशिप सेशन या यू नो किसी मेंटर से मिल रहे हैं या किसी बॉस से मिल रहे हैं तो खुद से आपने उसको डायरेक्शन दी कि किधर से किधर जाए आई थिंक दैट वॉज वेरी गुड एडवाइस इट्स नॉट चला बट इट्स स्मार्ट लाइक यू नो कि यू शुड डायरेक्ट यू यू शुड टेक कंट्रोल ऑफ द कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड एंड गाइड इट द वे यू वॉन्ट टू गाइड इट एंड आई थिंक दैट विल हेल्प मे बी Yeah, maybe I'm 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 straying a bit on the answer, but no, guys, <laughs> no. <laughs> the quality of an interview is a function of you and you alone. Like you know, take responsibility. That's all. What I would say, and कुछ नहीं होता. I have had such bad interviews. Honestly speaking, uh, I've bombed interviews a lot. Um, you learn. Uh, it's not the end of the world. One bad experience is preparation for the next experience, which might be the best. so don't give up hope and don't take it to your heart and and you know uh, keep it as a learning experience and i know ye bahut easy hai kehna agar aapke paas naukri hai aur bahut mushkil hai kehna agar nahi hai but honestly speaking iski um, iski like take it for for the advice that it is uh, that that don't be too hard on yourself it's okay opportunities will come have the right intention thank you sana for the words of wisdom and just to add to that um, so i connect with thousands of like mere paas jo database bhi wo thousands of students job seekers professionals and i can still tell you after putting content for like four years actively on youtube and linkedin ke interview kaise dena they still don't understand ya fir wo cv theek nahi karte and then they say and then people say ke yaar hamare ye job nahi lagi ya fir hame ye opportunity nahi mili like at the end of the day you have to realize even when you hire people for your work whether it's yourself whether it you go for the best you ask people you take references you see and mere liye kaun si cheez better hogi you look for the skills or companies mein agar koi source or reference aap rok nahi sakte ye duniya ka chalta rehta hai but no good company will ever hire someone who is not वो कैन नॉट परफॉर्म वो डजेंट हैव द पोटेंशियल अगर वो आ भी जाए गलती से तो वो ज्यादा देर चल नहीं पाएगा अगर उसकी वो बिहेवियर या वो ड्राइव नहीं है वो उसकी वैल्यू तो कल्चर में आहिस्ता आहिस्ता मिसफिट होगा इवेंचुअली दैट पर्सन परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल से कहीं से वो लेफ्ट आउट होगा सो इट्स वेरी इजी एंड इट्स समथिंग पीपल माइट फाइंड हार्श बट आई फील इट्स वेरी इजी टू ब्लेम एंड पीपल हु हैव अचीव समथिंग हु हैव स्टडीड समथिंग मतलब जो भी टॉप टी यूनिवर्सिटी जाता है वो उनमें कुछ अच्छे ग्रेड पहले लेके ही जाता है आई अंडरस्टैंड देयर इज अ फाइनेंशियल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट एज़ वेल बट आई नो पीपल हु हैव गॉटन 100% स्कॉलरशिप 50% स्कॉलरशिप स्टडीड दे डूइंग अमेजिंग दे डूइंग पीएचडी मी रियली मी आई स्टडीड ऑन अ स्कॉलरशिप ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग आई 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 डिडंट वांट माय फादर टू पे फॉर माय यूनिवर्सिटी एजुकेशन सो आई न्यू द ओनली वे टू गेट टू रिटेन माय एडमिशन एट नास्ट एंड नास्ट इज नॉट इट्स इट्स स्टिल रिलेटिवली लेस एक्सपेंसिव देन से योर यूनिवर्सिटी इज आपकी तो है बट आई यूज टू आई यूज टू वर्क वेरी हार्ड एवरी सेमेस्टर एंड देन आफ्टर एक जीपीए कट ऑफ होता था एंड यू नो इफ यू गेट टू दे वुड रीएम्बर्स एंड आई इन्वेस्टेड इन माय ओन एजुकेशन बाय द वे लेकिन इट्स ट्रू के के मेहनत से घबराना नीचे आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि मैं बहुत ही अच्छी हूँ लेकिन आई रेजोनेट विद दिस के माय सरकम स्टांसेज वर नॉट द बेस्ट सो आई न्यू आई हैव टू आई हैव टू हसल हार्डर एंड आई डिड एंड अल्लाह का शुक्र है उसका रिटर्न मिलता है जो मैंने भी यूनिवर्सिटी की है सो आई स्टडी ऑन स्कॉलरशिप माशा ग्रेट ग्रेड इन ऑल लेवल एन ए लेवल गॉट टू लम्स बट मैंने एंड में स्कॉलरशिप ली मैंने पढ़ लिया वो किसी को मतलब कोई पूछता वो नहीं है वो अज्यूम ये करते हैं कि आपने बस प्रिविलेज एक चीज थी या वो थी बट यू हैव टू वर्क रियली हार्ड आई डेंट एंड अप और आई एम श्योर सना आप पूरा एक करियर ट्रेजेक्टरी है जो आपकी कभी आप सना की प्रोफाइल में जाएं यू विल सी वेयर शी स्टार्टेड हाउ शी मेड हर वे वेयर शी इज राइट नाउ सो गाइज द बॉटम लाइन इज फोकस ऑन द स्किल्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू गेट अ ग्रेट जॉब ये छोड़ दें ये पूरी दुनिया में रहेगा जो कहाँ पे किस यूनिवर्सिटी चला गया किसकी लाइफ क्या थी ये सिचुएशन है जो शायद आपके कंट्रोल में भी नहीं है जो बेस्ट हो सका आपने किया अब उसके आगे का सोचें एंड फोकस ऑन योरसेल्फ सना इसी से रिलेटेड मैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आता हूँ ये बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन है बिकॉज एक सेशन हो रहा था एंड समवन फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस आस्ट मी पीपल से यार जॉब टेस्टिंग क्यों कर रहे हो वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ इट यूर मिसिंग आउट अलॉट ऑफ पीपल गुड पीपल गुड टैलेंट बिकॉज यू आर एडमेंट ऑन द फैक्ट यार ये मेरा मैथ और आई क्यू और इंग्लिश और वट एवर गेमिफिकेशन अब आ गया तो ये क्लियर कर ले किस तरीके से अब आप बताएं एंड मैं किसी हद तक इसको सपोर्ट करता हूँ बिकॉज आई रिमेंबर 
एक कंपनी थी जहाँ पे वो लोग लोगों को ना रिजेक्ट कर रहे थे और जब कुछ लोगों हमारे बीच में डिस्कशन हुई तो पता चला वो जो कैंडिडेट हमारे बैच के थे रिजेक्ट हुए वो मैकेजी चले गए सो दे वर थिंकिंग है वो कंपनी लोकल थी तो वो थिंग है मैकेजी का स्टैंडर्ड बहुत कम है लोकल का बहुत स्टैंडर्ड है कुछ तो प्रॉब्लम है तो देन यू नो द कॉन्वर्जेशन वॉज अबाउट कि यार कौन सा टेस्ट है पता चला वो टेस्ट क्लियर नहीं करें इंटरव्यू का मसला है टेस्ट नहीं सो किसी हद तक ये बात ठीक है बट ये कहाँ पर लाइक इज इट एप्लीकेबल टूडे शुड इट बी डन is it uh, at the expense of missing out on great talent what do you think about it oh my god these this hither either i'm going to give a disclaimer ki these thoughts are mine and not any company that i have worked with main apna example dunga to agar mujhe kisi company mein test deke naukri karni hoti na to mujhe naukri na milti i am very bad at maths i cannot work under stress to say ke abhi 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 answer karo um, so mere liye to i to as a candidate i'm anti <laughs> i'm anti tests as a candidate because mujhe pata hai na pass na karu like you know cuz it is not my skill it's not my strength my strength is the ability to talk <laughs> <laughs> like you know or to or to express my opinions to be uh, to be my own self i'm generally an honest i try to be an honest person but uh, it's uh, mathematics is not my skill like you know i mean and i'm a finance major just fi and i'm still saying that that it's not my skill like it's not a pressure testing skill that you can test so mera apna personal khayal hai ke only testing cannot be the reason why you accept or reject uh, a candidate can it be a part of a selection process for sure because dekho har different jobs ki different requirements hoti hai right so i think what makes a great recruitment process is uh, that you are that you are using the right kind of testing tools for the right skill set on the job uh, at loreal we we talk a lot about capability like you know to say that what are the capabilities that we need uh in order to grow our business uh, and then that's how we have the and that's how we look at talent as well that if if this is the capability we want to invest then who are the right people to bring in like you know and if the if and how do we assess they are the right people so to me honestly speaking testing in isolation is a bad thing i would fail the recruitment process myself like you know so may i usko kabhi shayad endorse na kar saku at a personal level ye mera apna fear hai uh lekin i think it cannot be the only way of uh, of uh, screening candidates can it be a part of the process yes depending upon the company the nature of the company the roles that you're applying for the uh, the the complexity of the job etc etc uh but i don't think it's the only means and anybody who's using it as the only means well i'm not made for that company for sure because nahi hoga nahi pass karu Chances are I I won't be working there for sure. candidate anxiety on this piece. So I will not support it, but yes, I know it. It can be a part, of, and it should not be sequential. कि ये pass करोगे तो यहाँ आओगे, यहाँ pass करोगे तो यहाँ जाओगे. I think it should be a co 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 relation. or a collation of, of of assessments and i think now most of these business games the sector are doing that uh, that you know that they're not relying on just one one metric uh, it's a lot more holistic uh, so i think companies are also most most mncs at least are waking up to this concept or they have already established it they they're not testing one skill or one strength they're testing a multi- multitude of skills through the games etc etc uh, which is i think a much more balanced approach uh, versus say back in the day when maths ka test hota tha for an empty position is tarah se main empty nahi bani so don't so, 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 <laughs> maine bhi bahut fail kiye test like i said that it can be a part of the recruitment process it can't be the only part it's as simple as that right like i feel that that you have to be fair to each candidate and each candidate's strength and capability and it they say for example in my case i feel that having a conversation with a candidate and then doing a case study uh, really helps sometimes right like you know but it's not it's after i met the person i usually tell them kitha ye challenge hai or we give case studies i say i do that quite often but uh, it is not the it's not the it's not the screening uh, metrics it's the selection metrics i feel screening should be for me at least uh, like in like i said maybe i'm driven by my own personal feelings 
<laughs> yeah, could be possible. Uh, but I do feel that interviews at the start need to be conducted uh, more more personally, more humane wise, because you get to see the person for who they are, their strengths, their capabilities, maybe their weekend maths, but they might be great, uh, great on empathy and great people leaders, like, you know, or maybe they're very creative, or maybe they're strong communication skills, and, and a team is a part of its, uh, part of its sum. So I think uh, um, testing, can be used. I'm not anti-testing at all. Believe me. I just think that it should not be the only way. Or maybe, uh, like you know, I. But and like I said, yeah, I think it's very like what I have seen at least in the MNC sector is that we have graduated from there. Like right? that, business games and all are very holistic because they're not testing one skill, one strength. Mm. They are testing multitude competencies that are required to work in that company. So, testing uh, assessment centers done they're not based on okay, whether you can solve an algebra problem. Uh, it's very live, it's very dynamic, it's very everyday and it's very holistic. So, I, I personally, I don't know local landscape but at least in the MNC landscape and all what I see is that a very holistic uh, competition and then my students give advice uh, I, I genuinely feel that when you are a student we are a little enjoy and busy like you know okay, you want to have fun and you want to go out with your friends and all of that uh, but generally for, uh, starting from your third year and yeah very much into your fourth year, most companies are running excellent business games, uh, which give you a gateway into their recruitment process, or they will give you a gateway into a interview, or they might give you an internship, or they, they, they might just give you a prize, right? But play these games. If they're coming to your campus, play them. If they're not coming to your campus, believe me, all games are open to all universities, what I've seen uh, digitally. So follow all the company pages that you aspire for. See if there is a business game coming. I don't want to because I don't want to say I'm promoting one or the other. Uh, but it's true. We all have very strong business games. Play them because that is what's going to give you the exposure on what's coming ahead in the interviews. Uh, what are the skills that the, that that company is looking for? And you will you will do the mock exam. Uh, for your final selections as well. But business games, maybe companies in Pakistan may offer career, they are phenomenally great. And I would strongly encourage students uh, in third year, in fourth year, uh, that L'Oreal actually starts from the first year, to be very honest. But I would say play these games. Uh, you're going to polish your skills. And you'll realize that testing is only what you have to do. Like, you know, and you can you can learn through your experiences, exposures, in San Galti Kirke bhi seekta hai, in San Practice Kirke bhi seekta hai, in San Strength through Strength bhi seekta hai, but, but it will give you that exposure. So seek that exposure. Don't get lazy about it. I was lazy about it. But now that I look back, that's the one thing I would change, that I would actively participate in all of them. And I've seen the students who do. Uh, honestly speaking, when they come into final interviews and all, they're very confident, they're very clear because on their pra life practice is a lot of already. So I would genuinely say, guys, top tier universities or non top tier universities, I can guarantee you all these business games and university competitions are open digitally to all students in Pakistan. Play these games, apply to them, see, see how far you can make it. They are going to polish your skills in a way that you can't even imagine. But when you look mm. back, you will give all of these business competitions, business challenges, a lot of credit. And the same for extracurriculars. I, I'm a big fan of extracurricular activities, mm. clubs, uh, uh, ISIC and all of that. Because I know that what you have experienced in class, in class na mil raho hai. Mm. Uh, but it will polish your skills. Like, you know, so my only advice to you is that don't worry about what the process will Prepare yourself for the process. And the best way to prepare yourself for the process is to give yourself exposures. How do you give yourself exposures? Participate in every opportunity that you get as a student because you have nothing to lose. What's the worst that will happen? That we won't win, we won't win, we won't At least you tried, you learn something. I promise you, you'll look back and you'll see that all of this collectively contributed to your success. Indeed. And uh, Sana, if you can a question that, I, that is coming on to my mind is that, so once the testing is done, you uh, rationally, logically test 
ऑनलाइन भी आपने लिंक दे दिया सो पीपल हु यू नो यू नॉट एक्सेसिंग और यू नॉट गोइंग टू द यूनिवर्सिटी दैट यू नॉट गोइंग टू आपने उनको भी कैप्चर कर लिया ठीक है लेट्स से यू शॉर्टलिस्ट 800 900 पीपल फॉर अ रोल बिकॉज उन्होंने टेस्ट में टॉप को टाइप में नंबर लिया द कंप्लेंट एंड द इशू व्हिच यू नो पीपल हैव इन राइटली सो इज दैट उसके बाद आप शॉर्टलिस्ट कैसे करें आपने स्क्रीनिंग इंटरव्यू नॉट को बाद करेंगे तो दे से यार आप क्या तो जीके पे जाते हैं या फिर आप चेक करते हैं यूनिवर्सिटी कौन सी है वो बात घुमा फिरा के उधर आ गए तो व्हाट व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज बीइंग डन राइट नाउ जो कि बेबी चेंज हो सकता है और बीइंग मोर इंक्लूसिव एक्विजिशन सो फॉर एग्जांपल आप मेरे पास अगर 500 बच्चा है मेरे पास इतनी कैपेसिटी नहीं है आई नीड टू क्लोज द पोजीशन इन 5 डेज आई विल प्रोबब्ली पिक यार ये टॉप कैंडिडेट मेरे हिसाब से प्रोफाइल में आ सकता है एंड द फर्स्ट शॉर्टलिस्टिंग क्राइटेरिया प्रोबब्ली विल बी दैट जिसने मेहनत ज्यादा प्रोफाइल ग्रेड ग्रेड और यूनिवर्सिटी की तो ग्रूम अच्छा करती है और वो यार इनमें से उठा लो इज दैट राइट इफ दैट राइट तो इट्स फेयर इफ इट नॉट देन व्हाट थिंग कैन बी डन अच्छा ऑनेस्टली इन माय एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ बल्क रिक्रूटमेंट एज देन ऑफ कोर्स एंड नॉट यार स्मॉलर इन पाकिस्तान बट इवन टेनर वाइज वी हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ बल्क रिक्रूटमेंट एज वेल असेसमेंट सेंटर्स के अंदर हम ये नहीं होता कि हम 800 का शॉर्टलिस्ट बनाते हैं आप 800 तो अप्लाई करते हैं एंड असेसमेंट सेंटर के अंदर एक थ्रेशोल्ड होता है जिसके अगेंस्ट वी वी सेलेक्ट humanly possible number of people who we should be interviewing but we do interview them like you know so i do not know i am not aware of this i'll be very honest with you mai mai badi baat kyun karu mujhe nahi pata ki kisi assessment center se 800 800 candidates uh, shortlist ho gaye hain aur aage position sirf 10 hai agar 800 shortlist ho gaye hain so positions ka number bhi utna hi bada hoga like you know to say i need people for 30 positions or 40 positions and hence i need this this amount of candidates uh, these number of candidates they can agar main kahun ki ek position hai तो आई डोंट थिंक कोई भी कंपनी आठ सौ लोगों को शॉर्टलिस्ट करेगी बिकॉज यू सी लाइक टाइम इज मनी एंड योर रिसोर्सेज आर लिमिटेड नाउ इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द फैक्ट कि वो असेसमेंट सेंटर हुआ है कि नहीं हुआ ऑन एन एवरेज लाइक यू सेट के लोगों के पास इतने ही कैंडिडेट्स होते हैं किसी भी जॉब को सिलेक्ट करने के लिए लेट्स अज्यूम दैट ठीक है ना डू आई फील के यू कैन देखो ये एंड अगेन मैं आई वॉन्ट टू बी केयरफुल विद वॉट आई से बिकॉज आई नो लॉट ऑफ यंग स्टूडेंट्स फॉलो यू I would say that look, we are. I cannot take the responsibility. Neither can Omar take the responsibility of how every individual recruiter thinks, right? So I can only tell you that, um, mere hasab se, main experience kya kiya ya kya se, kya mujhe kya sahi lagta hai, mera kaise dekhti hai usko. Honestly, I don't think university ka itna itna mas itna itna stringent criteria ke nii bhi ham sirf lumps ke log lenge ya ham sirf IBA ke log ya nast ke log. Main nast se padi hoon, Bahria ke log ya Ikra ke log ya Zabis ke log. I don't think so. Recruiters do that. I think I think quality of the resume is seen. And ab to ya integration ka zaman hai, bhai. Yani ke uh, your the job description needs to match your resume. it's as simple as that like you know uh, autobots lage hue hain on on sourcing tools to say that who is the nearest uh, who is the nearest resume to the skills that are required because i can i cannot stress on this companies usually good companies i hope are hiring for skills and capabilities that they require as opposed to names of fancy institutes etc so your resume which is why the power of a resume is not ke maine bas sab kuch likh diya hai you should really think through ke maine apne resume ke upar kya likha hai or my second advice to you is that when you are applying for an in, like in, for a job be smart to adapt adapt your resume to the company or the job description that you are applying for taaki at least for even at a sourcing level ki agar wo keh rahe ki i need a strong communicator i need strong analytical skills i i need a degree in finance so agar aapne hr padha hua hai aur aapne likha hua hai ki you are an introvert और आप कह रहे हो कि मुझे के मेरा मेरा बेस्ट काम एक क्रिएटिव एज अपोज टू एनालिटिक्स तो आप नहीं शॉर्टलिस्ट हो गया ना बिकॉज आप जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन से नहीं मैच करें सो आई थिंक आई डो नॉट नो अबाउट यू उमर बट फॉर मी द क्वालिटी ऑफ द रेजमे हैज अ बिग इम्पैक्ट ऑन हु आई विल सेलेक्ट फॉर एन इंटरव्यू और नॉट आई एंड ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग येस आई डू सी द यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द डिग्री दैट दे हैव बट इट्स नॉट द ओनली थिंग आई सी and that's not what i shortlist on with all due respect because if i did i will be in a lot of trouble because again we baat ke uh, ke de and i quotient ke upar equity fairness ke quotient ke upar uh, you try to make sure that you see uh, you, you 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 give a chance to all uh, but uh, like i said ke jo jo students sun rahe hain 
I cannot stress enough that use your university years wisely to add those skills to your uh, to your resume, to add uh, the the right capabilities to your resume, the right projects to your resume, the right experiences to your resume. And I think that is the beauty of the top universities because you know that other proper courses hain, proper uh, career placement offices hain, who are guiding students. So I think the problem is guidance. Ka bhi hai. Like you know, because uh, the best universities have very strong career placement offices. Uh, they have very strong career advisory programs, etc. So the students have have most probably have an edge. But in the digital era, you can write to your age and tell us what we should write to your resume and tell us what we should write to your age. Why don't you tell us? Ask me, but we should ask in a good way, but we should ask in a good way, I need a job. So, and I, honestly, I can, let me give you a good example. So I have, I have people writing to me in my inbox saying, I really want to work at like, let me say, I work at Alpha, but they're writing to me saying, Dear Madam of Beta. Bhai, you don't have so time to do that. You can copy paste to the page. But the kids are angry that I didn't reply to you. And, and it happens, by the way. It happens so often with me to say that, you know, that you didn't reply. And I'm like, but what am I replying to? You want to talk to some other HR? Like, you know, I'm not even responsible. <laughs> <laughs> so, throw up the attention to detail, they have a resume, your skills add, kare, usko, uh, job description, ke saad, jo capabilities, the job description can mention, hai, usse usko sing kare. I'm sure uh, you'll get shortlisted. Have faith in each other, yeah. Yani ke it, <laughs> it <ne bhi> <laughs> <laughs> it's not good enough. Have some faith that the recruiters know what they're doing. Uh, I think it's always like we need to defend ourselves because we're not very liked. Huh? <laughs> so what are those skills, top three, top five, whatever you feel, uh, that a young professional is listening to me, they say, I focus on these I know holistically you have to be an all-rounder, but there's some skills that you feel that these things are so given honi chahiye and you can't compromise on it baaki na bhi ho to you know xyz kuch kar leti hai company uh, mm-hmm. down, but, so th- that advice and everyone has a different advice every leader has a different advice but you as a leader what advice can you bada mushkil aur bada heavy sawal hai because uh, <laughs> we have to take responsibility in this uh, um first of all i would say that like i said don't be lazy I think Pakistani talent has a lot of potential, but we're also very lazy. Like, you know, not all of us, but I'm lazy. So I always assume that we will do it tomorrow, we will do it in the last day, we will apply it. Like, you know, I would say that if, if, you're really, if you're really aspiring for a big corporate career and, and, and early success in leadership, you can't be lazy because there is no shortcut. It's as simple as that. There is no shortcut. You'll have to work hard. You'll have to put in the hours. And, and you'll have to stand out because uh, rest be assured, uh, the, 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 the market is very competitive. Like, you know, we are very, very talented people. Like, you know, so I think maybe first advice will be that lazy na ho. When I say that lazy na ho, is that study hard. Uh, it is very important. Uh, yeah, it starts right there. Uh, take your studies seriously. Um, this is important. It's because me, sometimes, you know, people ask me, both of them would say, Log say ke, you know, ke, um, I've seen my friends say, Kya in university mein calculus padi thi, kahan use ki hai? And I keep telling them, Kar rahi hai use uh, because uh, what you're using is the logical deduction that you've learned as a, as a consequence of solving really complex problems, like, you know. So, what I, what I genuinely feel is that start by studying hard. Don't be lazy. Grab any and every opportunity that comes your way. Uh, what's important is that you are exploring and you are exposing yourself to different areas. Uh, this is very, very key. So I would say that 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 look for opportunities, grab them by the horns and, and use them well. Just like I said, society, I said a lot of podcasts that you can join societies, join karo, uh, business games, participate karo, internships, karo, um, research projects can genuinely uh, <laughs> don't write bakwas ja ke research kar lo. like you know learn learn it's going to help you long term for sure like you know so so be curious participate 
don't get lazy about it and and i i would say network a lot like you know hum generally we're also shy as people like you know um, so we do not try to make that effort but i think uh, kids today or, or or students today who genuinely do stand out it who take the first uh, the first approach to coming in introducing themselves because they leave a lasting impression on you know because they come they talk to you they tell you what they're interested in who they are so i would say network a lot as well uh, don't uh, don't uh, and i'm only telling you the mistakes i wish i had not made ki jab mere campus ke upar uh, top tier companies aayi thi to instead of sitting in the back bench thinking ke class participation ke marks laga rahe i wish i was sitting in the first chair uh, listening very closely to them introducing myself to them uh, learning from them uh making an impression on them uh, when uh, when there were four business games uh, um at my campus i only i only played one i should have played all four i would have learned more and i'm i'm a big proponent of isec because that's the only thing i did in university beyond studying but isec taught me so much mm. um it made me uh, so different from who i was so i really encourage ke whatever your passions are follow them in university on societies mein participate karo on 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 the communities mein participate karo Go, get the experience uh, you have nothing to lose worst comes to us kyun aayega you'll drop out because it's too much that's fine uh, but at least take the step of opting in first so i would say opt in don't be shy don't be lazy opt in always say yes if i can be very specific about advice for entry level hr professionals or hr professionals who are aspiring to become hr directors or leaders in the hr fraternity so ye aspect to applies to everyone what do you feel ke hr specific bande ko kis cheez pe focus karna chahiye what departments is is it mandatory ke all rounded hr exposure leke sare departments mein rotate hota hua aaye is it important ke uh, global trends फॉलो करता हूँ या इज इट इम्पोर्टेंट क्या मैनेज रियल स्किल्स पे फोकस करें और वट एवर एच आर नॉलेज एट द पर्सन इन ग्राफ अलॉन्ग दू यू कैन नॉट डू एच आर इन आइसोलेशन विदाउट द नॉलेज ऑफ वॉट योर बिजनेस इज वट आर द नीड्स ऑफ द बिजनेस फॉर मी द बेस्ट एच आर एंड आई बिन वेरी वेरी लकी अलहमद ला टच वुड टू हैव दिस एक्सपोजर एंड द राइट लीडर्स हु ऑलवेज फोकस्ड ऑन सेइंग दैट यू आर एन एच आर पर्सन बट हाउ कैन यू बी गुड एट एच आर इफ यू डोंट नो वॉट योर बिजनेस इज सो आई वुड से टू एवरी एच आर पर्सन बिजनेस में इंटरेस्ट लो बिजनेस को एक्सप्लोर करो बिजनेस के डेप्थ को जानो बिजनेस के चैलेंजेस को जानो बिजनेस के अपॉर्चुनिटी को जानो यू आर द राइट हैंड ऑफ 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 द बिजनेस लीडर्स सो यू रियली नीड टू नो योर बिजनेस रेडी वेल सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग आई वुड टेल एच आर इज नॉट एन आइसोलेटेड यूनिट एच आर इज नॉट अ बैक एंड ऑपरेशन एच आर इज वेरी सेंट्रल टू हाउ दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल डिलीवर ऑन इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर ग्रोथ फॉर सेल्स यू आर ऑलमोस्ट इन यूनिफॉर्म स्टार्टअप यू नो दैट फॉर एवरी ग्रोथ मोमेंटम दैट यू टेक हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इट इज फॉर यू की करना क्या है ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या है राइट सो मेरा सबसे पहली एडवाइस टू एनी बडी हु वॉन्ट्स टू बी इन एच आर इज दैट हैव वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इंटरेस्ट इन बिजनेस बिकॉज यू विल यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू नीड टू डू एच आर इज नॉट रॉकेट साइंस uh but it is very important to know that you're doing the right things and not and and like i said okay because you're working with people uh one size will not fit all so aapko apne business ki need janna bahut zaruri hai because you will then support that and second is of course i think so people empathy and and the ability or the or the or the skill to put uh the challenges of your most critical resource on the table and also find the solution which is people and like you know so i think uh, connectivity with your employees is very important uh, so that you can understand ke unke challenges unke limitations kya hain to truly deliver this is one piece so spend a lot of time with the people uh, understand ke unke intrinsic needs kya hain and and your job is to really match uh, the personal ambitions of your people with the ambitions of the business and if you can find that golden connectivity you will be the best kind of hr who's able to deliver a mighty results in an environment which is happy which is friendly where team work thrives where people are genuinely happy for each other's growth uh, and you will look forward to coming to that workplace also because collectively uh, you're delivering more like you know so bada um, bada mm-hmm. perfect world setting bata rahi hu lekin i genuinely feel ke hr ki job Predominantly is to is to partner the business 
to deliver the results by taking care of the business most critical asset which is its people my you know sir learn learn the business and learn the needs of your people and try to put the commonalities together and your job as hr is to get rid of the block as a nature business partner i work with a lot of nature business partners in my team as colleagues and most of them don't understand the business properly but they want to advise when you don't understand and you want to advise then you naturally lose respect because other person might listen to you but wo piche ja ke bolega ke yaar abhi ye kar lo because isko pata nahi hai itna and that's where hr loses its credibility so for any jo aapne baat ki first is to the motto is to enable the business to be great at market force then you have to understand so yeah completely align on that acha sana there are a lot of people jinka slow start hota hai hmm uh, career actually jitna main linkedin dekhta hu most of them have a slow start primarily because jobs itni kam hai ki jo top jobs hain wo kuch ke paas chali jati hain and then baaki aisi companies mein jate hain jahan probably culture career progression uh, remuneration uh, wo aisa it, it's not uh, it's, it's not similar to that Uh, of a company which is like the best place to go. So, what advice do you have for them? Because वो काम करते हैं hope. Hmm, that's a good question. It's a great question, by the way. Yeah, personally, hmm. देखो again, I have worked for very inspirational companies. Alhamdulillah, my internships have also been in big conglomerates. So maybe मैंने मैंने इसको direct देखा नहीं है. बट देखो स्लो स्टार्ट ऑफ द करियर एट सम पॉइंट करियर इज नॉट इज नॉट क्या कहते हैं इट्स दे विल बी स्लो एंड फास्ट पॉइंट इन योर करियर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्नोलेज दैट यानी कि कोई स्लो स्टार्ट करेगा कोई मिड मिड लेवल के ऊपर आएगा फिर आगे थोड़ा स्लो हो जाएगा डिफरेंट फेजेज इन योर लाइफ विल हैव डिफरेंट करियर प्रोजेक्ट्रीज uh because it's not a sprint it's a marathon of sorts and you know th- that that really applies to careers i would say i would say if you feel that you are you have a slow start and that you feel that you can do more for your company do more so mere mere examples i will tell you when when i started i'll, I'll use this example because it's outdated and more than 3 years old uh, so when i started my uh, job at uh, teleno so i was a um, my third party contractual employer branding ki job thi meri and uh, honestly that 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 job and that opportunity changed my life and everything that had to come with it but at the same time i felt i could do more like you know because um, uh, i had more time i wanted to be more engaged so i went to the corporate comms department and i asked them ki can i become a writer for your internal magazine and they said sure we're always looking for people to write uh, pieces etc tell not ki culture ke bare mein कुछ भी यानी कि जो भी असाइनमेंट मिल जाए लाइक यू नो एंड आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग दैट लाइक यू नो एंड वेरी अर्ली ऑन आई रियलाइज के वेन आई वॉज नॉट वर्किंग ऑन जस्ट वन प्लेस एंड आई वॉज आई वॉज लेंडिंग हेल्पिंग हैंड टू कॉप कॉम्स और कोई अवेंट हो रहा होता था तो आई वुड से अच्छा इसकी मैं आई कैन हेल्प यू प्लान इट लाइक यू नो कि मैं इसकी पार्टी प्लानर बन जाती हूँ या मैं या मैं उसके लिए वो एम सी बन जाती हूँ यू नो टू टू बी द होस्ट ऑफ द शो एक्सेट्रा so that would get me extra extra exposures uh, i would develop a stronger network and chai mai third party contractual thi mai permanent employee nahi thi loreal uh, loreal can you tell not ki uh, mera at least mera network ban raha tha logon ko pata chal raha tha ki acha sana bhi hai usko uske andar bhi interest hai maine bahut galtiyan bhi ki uske andar is tarah se mujhe bahut logon ne achhi cheeze sahi cheeze bhi sikhai but it helped me uh, kind of go from my temp role to my permanent role as well because i was well ingrained in the organization so if you like where you work and you feel that the workplace and that's what i'm saying that if you like where you work and you feel that that workplace has potential i genuinely feel that nobody is going to stop you from wanting to do more so go ahead and do the more like you know get involved with projects uh, help people who need that help create committees uh, whether they are diversity equity inclusion or cycling club or whatever whatever your whatever passion you seek but but do but go ahead and do like you know because i think you will engage yourself more you will learn more and uh, and you will you will be challenged differently um, that's by the way how we also work in lorry and to be very honest hey, nobody has one strict job uh, we are always a part of intact teams or 
uh, are doing more than our job in different different functions as well in order to retain that engagement in order to retain that growth in order to retain that that mindset of continuously wanting to evolve i think that is one one advice i would give to people who like where they work and now ab main achhi baat nahi bolungi to i i hope i show i really hope i don't get into trouble but if you if you don't like where you work then you have a big decision to take बस ना तुम्हें जगह पसंद है ना तुम्हें लग रहा है कि तुम्हारा घर ठीक है तो फिर आप सोचें आपके लिए मे बी आपके लिए कोई और जगह बनी और आप आराम से फोकस करें अपने लिए आप अपनी नेक्स्ट जॉब ढूंढे जरूर ढूंढे बट आई वुड से दैट लाइफ इज टू शॉर्ट टू स्पेंड इन अ प्लेस दैट यू डोंट लाइक and it's okay to not like a place i i also think it's fine workplace personality needs to match your personality for you to truly thrive in that environment so agar match nahi hai ye koi isme koi sharam ki baat nahi it's fine then find something where you're going to be more passionate where you'll deliver your 110% and and you have a different then a uni different kind of counseling but if you like where you work you respect the team the culture the way you work you just feel that you could do more or you you're underutilized genuinely go and ask for more you you'll get it uh, there are 1000 projects that are always not done i can imagine the kind of things that you want to do but you don't have enough time in the day or the capacity to do them and if somebody comes and says ke bhai umar let me help you with this i think the answer is going to be why not not ki kyun why you know you can so i think majority of the companies have that that they have a lot of ideas that they want to implement the cost resources are limited not everything is happening at the same time so if you are interested uh, go ahead and ask for it i will give you my best intern story um a uh, couple of my interns were in our commercial uh, pakistan ki baat bata rahi hu ke wo commercial ke andar kaam kar rahe the uh, which is sales and they just felt that you know that they could do more and they came to me one day and they said that you know that can we help you with interviews like you know and i said how are you going to help you can't take them like you know cuz you're not equipped and qualified to select people they said but we can sit with you and we can learn like you know and and then you can train us and and let's do that training and and they would come and like you know ke bilkul like you know ke sunne ke liye dekhne ke liye ke kis tarah se question hote hain and baad mein um, those, those two interns would discuss with me ke wo question kis tarah se differently puchte unne iska kya assessment kiya one of them is actually in nature today she was an engineer by profession doing a commercial rotation like you know so i i feel just ask for more or do more and be curious and and agar kuch bhi nahi karne ko to bana lo ka yani ke uh, create a project go talk to your bosses and say i feel that we should do this and i'm i'm very sure local multinational fmcg non fmcg uh, uh, all industries i don't know a single leader if you give them a good idea and you say i want to see it through they're going to say no they're going to say yes i hope that was good to create your own slow start ko fast kar de khud se kar de ho jayega indeed and there, there are times when i felt this kabhi kabhi aap sochte hain na yaar mera learning nahi ho rahi bahut sare log company mein aake at certain point ye bolte hain yaar maine bahut kar liya is role mein maine bahut learning kar li ab i need to switch i need to do that and obviously company ki limitations bhi hoti hain the more senior the role is the more difficult it gets to rotate and then you know when you sit with them as people partner you know it's one of the job is to co 